What's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you create a fully functional Shopify store that looks just like this in under 10 minutes. Now this is going to be a very fast tutorial. If you want a more full length tutorial, I do have one that's about an hour long where I go into a lot of the nitty gritty details. I'll leave a link to that in the description, but this video is going to be a really quick overview to get you up and running as fast as possible so with that said to get started what you want to go ahead and do is head over to the first link in the description to go ahead and start your shopify free trial as i would recommend it is definitely the easiest to go ahead and build your store side by side along with me as that is going to be the most straightforward way to go ahead and do it so if you go ahead and click the link in the description you'll be brought to this page right here and you can go ahead and start your free trial and you don't even have to put in any credit card information or anything so i'm going to go ahead and fill this out now and once we enter that info we just have to go ahead and answer a few basic questions right here now to be honest these don't really matter too much so you can go ahead and just skip these questions and then right here you just have to enter in your um, address information right here so i'm going to go ahead and do that really quick once we go ahead and edit in our information we're going to be brought here to the shopify admin in the back end right here so you can see here we're going to get acquainted with this really quickly the back end of shopify is really easy to use we have our home screen right here we have orders we can check all the orders um, that we get we have our product section right here which is going to show all of our products we have a list of all of our customers we can take a look at analytics to see a lot of the traffic and sales statistics on our site we have the marketing section right here which helps us with some promotions we have discounts where we can create discount codes and apps where we can install third-party apps to boost our store in different ways now what we're going to go ahead and do first is we're going to just go ahead and get straight into the actual design of the site by clicking on online store and we can see this opens up a bunch of other options right here the first one being themes and this is where we can go ahead and select a theme for our store so what you can see right here our current theme is debut so this is the base theme that all shopify stores start out with and this is going to be the theme that i'm going to be using for this video for the sake of brevity so right now what i'm going to go ahead and do here is if you wanted to go ahead and change your theme this is where you could do it you could come down here to the theme library and you could click explore free themes and you can see there's a few free themes that you could go ahead and select from right here or you could go ahead and click visit theme store and it will bring up another page where you can go ahead and browse a bunch of different paid themes as well so like i said for the sake of this video we're going to just stick with debut theme i think it looks fine and we're going to go ahead and get started with customizing this so the first thing we want to do is just click customize right here and we're going to start building this home page up now what i already have is i do already have a logo that i'm going to use as well as a color scheme some photos that i'm going to be putting on this home page and what i'm going to do is it at the end of the video i'm going to be showing you some resources that you can use to go ahead and get logos and things like that if you don't already have one what i'm going to go ahead and do first is get acquainted really quickly with this editor so you can see right here everything on here every element on on the left side over here corresponds with a part of the website right here so we can see this header represents up here we can see this image with text is right here if we come down here we can see this image with text is this section this text with columns is this section featured collection is here and if you click on any of these so if i click on gallery it takes us down to here so we can see we have a bunch of different sections so what i'm going to go ahead and do is start filling these out so we can see when you have a theme you pretty much have a template all you have to do is essentially start filling it in so we'll just go ahead and work our way from the top down so i'm going to go ahead and start out with header and we can see here the first thing we can do is select a logo image so i'm going to go ahead and do that right here go ahead and upload an image so we'll go ahead and upload this image click select and then right here we can change the logo width so we can see this logo is way too tiny so i want to go ahead and make it a lot bigger so i'm going to bring it up to this size right here and we can see that that looks a lot better and we can choose between centered or left but i'm going to keep it on the left next thing we can do is show an announcement bar so we saw we had one of those on the demo site that i showed you earlier so what i'm going to go ahead and do is click that and then we can edit the text right here so i'm going to go ahead and just take the text that i have from the other site and throw that in right here and then right here we can change the bars color now i would recommend when it comes to the color scheme of your site that you set all of the colors to match the branding you already have so in this particular case we're going to stick with the brown branding so i'm going to go ahead and put in the hex color code 
for that and we can see that this lines up and we can go ahead and click save and we can see that this is already looking a lot better so we can go ahead and click back here and now we're going to go ahead and set this up next so i'm going to click image and then we just need to put an image back here so i'm going to go ahead and upload another one we can go ahead and click select and then what i can go ahead and do to change the layout i can put it in the bottom i can put it in the middle or i can put it up top i'm going to keep it in the middle and with this and we can go ahead and edit some of the text right here if we want so we can go ahead and edit this and we can go ahead and edit the description text down here and we could go ahead and add a button here if we wanted to as well by putting in the button label and then we could go ahead and put in the button link and in this case we'll just go ahead and link the products and then i can go ahead and click save at any point in time when you're editing you can go ahead and click save and you'll be good to go so the next thing i want to do here is make sure this button actually fits our branding real quick so i'm going to go ahead and go back and i'm going to click on theme settings down here and i'm going to click on colors and then we can see right here primary buttons what i'm going to go ahead and do is make the primary button this same color by putting that same color code in right here and we can see that that goes ahead and changes the color right there and also while we're here we can see that this image looks a little grayed out which doesn't look as good as the image from the demo site and that's because we can change this image overlay here to black and we can see that immediately looks a lot better so i'm going to do that click save come back come back here and now we can go to the image with the text so editing this is the same as editing the header where we can just go ahead and upload another image go ahead and select that image and then editing every one of these sections is essentially exactly the same as editing the header you just go ahead and put in the text that we're looking for and we can go ahead and come down here as well and we can see that if we want to go ahead and delete a section which in this case i don't need this section here what we can do is go ahead and just click on the section come down here and click remove and just like that it's gone now let's say we want to edit this section right here to where this is going to show our featured products which we don't have yet but we will soon so I can go ahead and change the rows to one. So it has one row of products and then we'll have three products per row, just like it did on the sample site here earlier. So we'll go ahead and go back and come down here. We have another image with text overlay that we will go ahead and fill in once again. And just like before, we go ahead and paste all of our text in. And then down here, we can go ahead and edit the testimonial section. So this section is just the same as the other ones pretty much. We can put in a heading right here. So what our customers are saying, and then we could go ahead and put in the testimonials by clicking on content and clicking on testimonials. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in three right now. So we went ahead and put in the three testimonials. So we're gonna go back and now we're going to put in the gallery images right here. And you guessed it, just like editing every other section, this is exactly the same. All you have to do is click on the content, select an image and upload the images. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I went ahead and put all those in. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes and we can see just like that in just a couple of minutes, we have the entire home page filled out. So you can see it's a really easy process. And once you get used to it, editing each one of these sections is pretty much the exact same process. And once you have all of the actual content to put in, you can do this stuff in really under 10 minutes. So the last thing we need to do is go ahead and get some products in here and we're essentially good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and go back here. We're going to click exit. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna open up the online store here just so we can take a look at it later. But we're gonna come over here to products now and we're gonna go ahead and add a product in. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is click add product. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is name our product right here. So in this case, we can go ahead and name this one dozen chocolate chip cookies. And then we can go ahead and give it a product description right here. And then we can go ahead and add the photo of the product right here, which we would go ahead and do. And then we can come down here and create a price for it. So in this case, I'll make it $12.99. We can come down here and put how much we have in stock. So let's say we have 100. And then we can go ahead and click save. Now we can see if we go ahead and click preview right here, we can see that we already have our product up and running and we can go ahead and actually buy it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is quickly create two more products like we had in the demo store. So now that I've went ahead and created three products right here, I'm gonna quickly throw them in a collection so we can show them on the home page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click collections right here. 
We can see we have a home page collection right here. So if we do want to them to show up on the home page, we can click on this home page collection and we can see that one of the products was added to this home page collection. But what I'm going to go ahead and do here is browse all of our products and I'm going to add these other two products right here click done and now that it's saved what I'm going to go ahead and do now is come back to online store themes and we just need to put this on the home page so I'm going to click customize once again and then we are going to come down to the featured collection right here and then all we have to do is click select collection and we're going to select the home page collection click select click save and there we go so now if i go ahead to this home page here and refresh it we can see if we get this out of the way we can see that we have created a fully functional shopify store in about 10 minutes that looks pretty clean and with that said here is a couple of resources that you can actually use to find some of the content to put on the site the first one here is pixabay you can use this to find background images the second one here is going to be Fiverr. So if you don't have a logo or anything for your business, then you can go ahead and actually just type in like logo design in here, and that will go ahead and uh, provide you with a bunch of different options where you can go ahead and get someone to design a logo for you. And the last one here is Canva. If you wanna go ahead and make the logo yourself, or if you wanna get really advanced, you can go ahead and go in Photoshop and make the logo yourself if you are proficient with Photoshop. So with that said, that's how you build a Shopify store in under 10 minutes. If you do want a full length tutorial, I will leave a link to a more detailed tutorial in the description as well. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in another one.